There you are, my lovelies. Sarah from Easy English Club back with another English let lesson. Letter, I was going to say. British English, of course. So that's how my brain thinks. That's what comes out of my mouth. Most times, anyway. I know a little American English, but I like to focus on British English. Anyhow, today's video. British English pronunciation help. Letter G words. You can increase your vocabulary with this lesson, guys. Um, I have picked four intermediate advanced words. They are gargantuan, gastronomic, geometric, and gesticulation. Now, I'll go through each one, one at a time. Tell you how many syllables, how to pronounce them, give you the meaning and some example sentences. And then you can practice to your heart's content. And you will be able to impress your friends and increase your vocabulary. Okay, my lovelies, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Give me the thumbs up if you find the video useful. Thank you. Okay. On with the lesson. British English pronunciation help, letter G words, vocabulary building, gargantuan, gastronomic, geometric and gesticulation. First word I have for you is gargantuan. There's four syllables guys. Gar, gan, Chew, mm, gargantuan. If you break these words down into sounds, it will be a lot easier for you to pronounce them and speak them fluently. So it's gargantuan. I'll put it down there in the subtitles, make it easier for you. Gargantuan. What this means is that something is huge, big, gigantic, very large. So, for example, a dinosaur is gargantuan. Now, it's an adjective. As I said, it emphasizes something that is extremely big. So, example sentence, our marketing campaign was gargantuan. It crossed the whole of England. Our marketing campaign was gargantuan. It covered the whole of England. Covered is a better word than whatever I said before. Okay, another example. Say your friend eats a lot. Some people like to. You can say something like, he has a gargantuan appetite. Means he eats a lot. All right. And another example. It is a gargantuan task to learn a hundred words a day. It is a gargantuan task to eat, to learn 100 words a day. I'm thinking about food. Next set, next word. Sorry, guys, I'm here, there, and everywhere today, am I not? Must be the coffee. Gastronomic. Another word with four syllables. Gastronomic. 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 What this means is it's you use it when you're talking about anything to do with good food. It's an adjective. Um, for example, my friends went to Paris. It is the gastronomic place. Hold on, guys, that's not right. Let me say this again. Paris is the gastronomic capital of the world. That's better. Paris is the gastronomic capital of the world. 
it means there's delightful food there. If you want to go and taste lots of different fantastic food dishes, you taste the gastronomic delights. And I'll use that in another sentence. They went on holiday to Italy to taste the gastronomic delights. So use gastronomic, guys, when you're talking about anything to do with wonderful food. You can't really say that it's a gastronomic delight at McDonald's when you get yourself a burger and some fries. Well, you could, but it's most normally used with France, Italy, Spain, or wherever there's fantastic food. Next word, geometric. Another one with four syllables, another adjective, geometric, geometric, geometric. What this means, it's to do with following the principles of geometry. Geometry is like a math principle and it's to do with shapes, straight lines, points, squares, circles, rectangles, any kind of shape, guys. Um, it's kind of like design. And you can say something like, the building has been designed with simple geometric lines. Or you can say something like, I like the geometric shapes in this painting which means the painting has like clear-cut lines, squares, points. Uh, one more example. The quilt has simple geometric shapes on it. So there's your four words today, guys. Increase your vocabulary. Break them down into sounds, which are syllables. You'll find it much easier to learn the word and pronounce it correctly. Don't forget the thumbs up if you found the video useful. Come and find us on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like to, leave a comment and I'll get back with you. Thank you for your time, guys. And good luck with your English speaking. Bye-bye.